Hey guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon from where you are tuning in. So as I was, as I announced uh, in the group, this is the sales training, how to do soulful sales conversation. So I'm waiting sometimes to see if someone join me here live. Um, and uh, if you join live, uh, tell me from where you are joining. Uh, if you join from the replay, uh, put replay below and let us know from where you are tuning in. And uh, if you have any question and you cannot be here live today, just drop in the, in the comment uh, and uh, I will <clears throat> get back to you. Hey, Rosemary, James, how are you? Thank you for being here. So tell us from where you are tuning in. Do you have any que specific questions? Uh, I just wait a couple more seconds to see if someone else is joining us. Uh, and um, the training will take around uh, half an hour. And uh, I will stay on if you have any Q&A at the end. Uh, and uh, um, thank you very much for tuning in. So I will wait another five seconds while I have my coffee. So do you, do you notice that uh, in the title, I didn't put uh, sales calls or discovery calls? Uh, but I put sales conversation because uh, it's important uh, that we uh, enter in the space of feeling that we are having a conversation with uh, a human, another human being. So we are not putting on ourselves the pressure of saying, oh my God, it's a sales call, it's a sale, a discovery call. You are having a conversation with a person and getting to know this person. So first of all, I want to, you know, to show you the process I follow. And uh, every time before having a sales conversation, I take 15 minutes, 10, 20 minutes to really, you know, tune in, uh, in the person energy, take a deep breath from your nose and out from your mouth. And really, you know, take time to stay in your presence, stay in your energy and uh, ask also, you know, your higher self to, to, for, to guide you and to be there with you during this sales conversation. And also I, I love to, you know, put some music or dance and raise my vibration. So when I will be in the sales uh, conversation, I will be in my higher vibration. Because as we know, you know, everything is energy. Or, well, if you believe that everything is energy, so the other person, even if she's not uh, aware, maybe, she perceives completely the energy you are at in the moment. So really, really important to tune in into your energy, take 15, 20 minutes uh, to really stay in the presence and um, breathe and tune into the, the person energy and what she needs. And then another tip I'm going to give you before every sales uh, uh, call, every sales conversation, when the person is telling me that um, you know, she wants to have the, the conversation, before like two days before three days before it depends i start uh, you know investigating uh, this person and uh, i watch uh, her facebook post her instagram if she has a website i watch the website um, i watch her or him going live to tune more into the energy of the person and really you know feeling uh, where she is, she is at the moment, where she, what she needs, what, you know, what maybe is blocking her from going to the next level. So I really, really um, encourage you 
to go and hey Anna, how are you? So where where are you from? Where are you tuning in? Thank you very much. So <clears throat> I was saying that before every sales conversation, I love to um, study and investigating the person I will be at the phone with. So I watch your social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, the website, if she has a website. I saw, I, you know, watch some Facebook posts, uh, some lives, uh, some Instagram, because that in this way, I already know, quote unquote, the person. <clears throat> Hello, Anna from Bulgaria. Thank you very much. So if you have any question, just type in the comment and let me know. <clears throat> and um, I really love to, you know, as, as I was saying, to tune into uh, the person and see where she's, she's, you know, what she's doing, what she's up to. And um, so when I get to the, at the phone with the actual person, I already, you know, know her, know her situation more or less. I know her energy. I maybe, you know, already pick up uh, some things she, she needs from, from the coaching. So obviously this process uh, I apply, uh, applies to coaches, but also to every kind of service provider. For everyone who doesn't know me already, just a little bit of background. Uh, I um, love I love sales. <laughs> I I strongly believe in sales when I'm selling the right, you know, the product I believe in, the service I believe in. I've been selling things since I was like 16. I've been a promoter, I've sold on the phone, I've sold shoes, uh, clothes, uh, what, you know, every kind of uh, product and services. And then uh, having worked in uh, HR and in the recruitment, recruitment side and having, you know, own my own practice and business as a um, recruitment uh, consultant, I've always, you know, in the last, 10 years, develop my capability of uh, negotiation, selling, uh, um, perceiving where the people is, handling objection, because, you know, also with candidates, when they, we had to, like, sell them to the company, we have to present them, you know, as a product. So I really, really love selling. I don't have anything against selling. So... I'm, I'm telling you also that if you want to be uh, in the business and if you want to be a service provider, you, you would want really to love selling and learn how to sell because, um, you know, from a monetary perspective, if you don't sell, you don't have customers, so you don't, you don't receive money. So you are not a business. And from an energetical perspective, when you sell someone your service, you are, you know, you are really helping this person to transform her life. If you are a life coach or you are helping this person to transform her health, if you are a health coach or if you are a relationship coach, you are really, um, you know, maybe you would help this person to find the love of her life. So imagine the impact of this thing in the life of the person. So every time you go into a, a, you know, a sales conversation, really tune in into the transformation you are going to provide to your client, to your customer. Anna, I am going to ask you why don't you why don't you love uh, selling? What what is coming up for you when you think about selling your services? So I was saying, uh, you know, when you when you are one hundred percent sure and uh, behind the transformation you sell, if you are a health coach, if you are a life coach, business coach, whatever VA, you know that you're your service and the transformation you offer, it, it, 
will be life changing for the person. So, um, you know, if you are, for example, a VA and you are selling your service, you know that taking off from the shoulder of your, you know, your customer some technical uh, things uh, would, would really help uh, this person to, you know, stay in her zone of genius. And if, for example, if you are a health coach, you know that selling your serving and selling your transformation would help uh, this person to change completely her health. So how freaking important it is for a person to be healthy because, you know, her health is going to impact all areas of your life. Or if you are a love coach, relationship coach, and you will help this person to find the love of her life, imagine what, you know, what gift you are giving to this person. So always think, uh, you know, about the transformation you are offering to the person and not about, you know, oh my God, I'm taking money from this person. Oh my God, she's paying me. Because I always say to my client that uh, the magic is in the client. And this, the client, when she invests uh, in your service, she's not investing like in you as a person, but she's investing in herself. She's investing in her change. She's investing in her business. She's investing in her life. So when you look at, you know, from this perspective and you put everything in service, you are like taking off from your shoulder this like icky feeling that you are taking money from someone that is bad because in reality i always say people who pay pay attention so it's you know money is energy so when the people is like handling you money it's just an exchange of energy so she's she's putting energy she's putting love she's putting effort like aka money like a at a time in her transformation and when you know that will immediately up you know the the relationship and will immediately start the process of transformation so um, you know whatever level you are at one you know you i don't know for example anna uh, what are you selling uh, uh, Radmila, if you uh, you thank you very much for joining. From let us know from where you join. So I don't know which kind of service are you selling and the price point, but it's you know it's always I always say that forty percent or forty five percent of the transformation depends on the investment, depends on the money people are putting into the transformation. And uh, since I've worked uh, a, a lot in fashion, I will give you like a very um, simple example. So for example, when you go into a um, cheap um, store and you buy like a shirt, yes, maybe you, you like the shirt and you, you, you know, you are happy with, uh, with the product, but I guess you will not have the same uh, like uh, experience or you will not have the same treating to this uh, shirt as if uh, you were buying like a Chanel silk uh, shirt. And I hope that it makes sense, you know. What, for example, in my case, when I buy something that I really, you know, want and uh, um, I really love and maybe it's a little bit more expensive, I, when I put this thing on, I feel like a queen, I feel like a goddess. I uh, pay attention to not, uh, you know, um, to treat uh, this shirt uh, uh, in the right way. I wash it uh, carefully. Even in, instead, if I buy like a shirt from Zara or, you know, Target or no, I don't know, you know, which other store you have maybe in US that it's like 10 euros or 10 dollars it's not the same value so that's that's the you know all the premise around uh, uh, selling and why i love i love selling and uh, i'm encouraging you if you are watching this live to really you know take time and sit down with yourself or if you have a coach with your coach 
and really be 100% clear on the transformation you provide to your client and you know write it down uh, be super mindful about the transformation because people don't give nothing about uh, you know the features people are interested in the transformation people will pay you for the transformation will pay you for solving the problems and for the end results you can give them so you don't want to sell them the plane you want to sell them the destination so you don't want to sell you know we are going to travel to bahamas with this wonderful jet with air conditioning whatever they want to um, they want to know about uh, bahamas they want to know that they will go to bahamas they will arrive to bahamas and how this thing be there will make them feel so always always remember that people buy the transformation and they don't buy the fee the feature so one of the first mistake i see coaches or service providing doing is that uh, they in their sales posts on their in their sales conversation they sell the features of their program so they say okay so we are going to have nine calls uh, uh, of 45 minutes uh, and uh, we will speak through you know messenger or boxer and the cost is that and um, you know the person on the other side uh, freeze because maybe you are saying the cost of that is ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars five thousand dollars two thousand dollars so uh because you know they they are not seeing the, the transformation when you speak of, to them about the features they are just seeing you know their mind is just going to see oh my god so we are going to meet once a week and this thing is going to cost me 500 dollars per hour so it's it's not uh, it's not about selling you know the feature of your program but it's about selling the transformation that's the very first important thing so to go back uh, when you show up for a call uh, as i was saying before always take time 10 minutes 15 minutes to you know raise your vibration dance meditate breathe uh, whatever it it feels good to you to show up at the call with you know energy confidence and clarity so with your higher vibration and your higher um, energy because the person will feel your energy so when you actually are at the phone with this person you want really to first thing first to connect with this person as an actual human being so you know um, ask uh, you know where they are how they feel you know uh, where they are you know in the world uh, whatever feels good but really connect uh, with this person as a real human being you are on the phone with the, with a human and don't you know freeze and like oh my god oh my god i am in a sales call oh my god no just you know lean back relax uh, and uh, enter in the conversation detached from the outcome. Enter in the conversation detached from the fact that uh, you want to close the sales. Enter in the conversation with the, with the energy of being present, being the moment, uh, serving the, the person, and really, you know, getting to know another human being, you know, where she is, where she, you know, what is happening for her in her life, what she's struggling with. Really take time to connect. And then another thing that, that I want to tell you that for me it's super important, I don't follow any script. I don't like script because um, I saw that, you know, when people follow a script, they, you know, you know they are like very focused on the script and they are not focused on the person on the other side and and also i don't follow like this system of being like a 20 minutes call 15 minutes call because i feel that uh, you know for me i would take also one hour one hour and a half 
sometimes two hours to really stay at the phone with this person and feeling her energy, letting her feel my energy and really see, you know, if we are a good fit to work together, if uh, I resonate with her energy and if I can really add this person because, uh, you know, sometimes it, it is just not a good fit. So it will be, you know, not, rec I, do, I would never recommend you to take on a client uh, that it's not uh, a good fit for you and for your program because not only at the end that you will be, you know, resentful and not happy with the client, but also the client, uh, you know, she will not be happy with the, with the service. So really, you know, take your time, slow down. I always say, you know, slow down to speed up. Don't rush, breathe, take your time, stay in the moment, stay in the present. And uh, it's really important in the conversation to, uh, to, you know, open all your channels around, you know, of your emotional intelligence and your social intelligence. So um, really, you know, if the person is very, you know, high vibe and very, you know, energetically, you want to show up at the same level. If the person is a little bit more, you know, quiet and she needs more, you know, softness and space, act more softness you know you don't want to force or push uh, or feeling you know that's where i feel people feel like i don't like say it's easy because you are like feeling that you need to push the person to be where she's she's not in the moment so uh let me know if you have any question uh, around this this top this first part uh, and um, I will be really happy to, to answer you. I really hope that is, this is going to be very helpful for you. So um, we were saying connect with this person. For second step is start asking questions. Ask a lot of questions. You know, you want to know where, not only where the person wants to be, so her goals, her vision, but you want to know where the person is now so ask a lot of questions be curious uh, you know really take time also for the person uh, uh, if she you know um, what she's struggling with uh, to open up to you to really you know um, be curious ask questions and it's super important when you ask the question that you maintain and lead the conversation you don't want that the client lead the conversation. You are the leader. You are the expert. So you have you have to you know pull out your inner masculine and really lead the, the conversation. And if you are asking question and the person like is going in a lot of different direction, you want to you know bring her back, bring her back again and again and again, and you want her to. Uh, reply to your question uh, and it's very you know it's very typical and i do it myself that sometimes people ask me questions and i go totally to another direction and no in, it's your job to really you know keep bringing the person to the question and then when you have asked all these questions uh, you want to it's super important to reflect back to the person so, for example, she, she said, you know, I'm struggling to book discovery calls or I'm struggling with uh, binge eating or whatever. You want to reflect back to the person saying, so from what you are telling me, from what I, I'm listening, you are struggling with da da da, you are da da da. So the person feel really hurt and uh, feel that you are, you are listening to her. And that, you know, it will, it's also an occasion for you to really, you know, see if you have understand uh, um, properly the, the person where she is, where she is uh, at the moment. When you have done all these, you know, questions, then 
you know, what you want to do, it's not entering and start solving the problem in the call. Because, uh, you know, the more, the more problem you start to solve, I know, I know that, you know, if you are a coach, uh, you feel that you want to solve the problem, that, you know, you want to give her advice, uh, because, you know, it's, it's in our nature and we love to help the person. But that's how you will not close the sales. Because if you start solving the problem during the conversation, the person really, you know, will find another problem, another problem, another problem, because it's how the human mind works. You know, we always want to know more, have more information, solve the next thing, solve the next thing. So you don't want to enter in the rabbit hole to solve the problem during the conversation. You want to ask the question, reflect back to the person, and then that's very important. What you want to do is to, to show them where is the problem. Not solving the problem, you want to show them where the problem lies. So you as the expert, you know, and seeing the thing from an external perspective, you know where where is the problem you know you know maybe this person is is telling you you know in the last six months i've gained 10 kilos because you know i'm i'm a business coach and i work a lot on my computer and i've been cheating and i you know drink wine and chocolate so you want to show the person you know where is the problem but do not solve the problem and then what you want to do is solve for them the problem conceptually. So for example, what I mean is, you know, if the person is telling you, so I'm a coach and, um, you know, I'm really struggling to bring uh, consistent income and maybe one month I do, you know, 10,000 and then another month zero and then another month, uh, you know, 5,000 and uh, on and on. So. What you want to show the person is that, um, and tell her conceptually is that, you know, what is happening to you is that all of us, we have a money temperature. We have money beliefs. So what, what is happening for you is that you believe that, uh, you know, in one year you can bring a maximum 50K or 100K. So you, you're, you are like kind of, self-sabotaging on your energy is you know is acting as if you will just make the 50k or 100k a year so that's what is happening to you and you know what we will have to you know what we will have to do together it's really working on your money mindset working on your money beliefs we are going to you know see where these beliefs are coming from. We are going to, you know, really uh, working on all your money story. And, uh, but you are not telling them how you are going to do it. You are, you are telling them the problem. You are telling them conceptually the solution. So the problem is that we all have a money temperature and so that, uh, you know, you believe that you can make a maximum 50K a year. So, you know, in order to make your income more, you know, established, we have to work on your money temperature, your money beliefs, your money mindset, your money story. And that will take X amount, uh, you know, of time. But we are going, you know, to solve this problem. So you really want to see, First of all, if you are able to solve the problem, if, you know, this is something you want to work on and, uh, you know, showing the person that you are the expert, that you know what is going on, that you can be able to help them to transform the situation. So really, really tune in into your expertise mindset. You know, you are the expert. It's not the client. You are the expert. So you want to show up during the conversation as the expert. You want to show up in the conversation as the person who knows her business, who knows her stuff, because 
the person on the other side of the phone you know she's she's struggling she's lost she you know she's she's looking for a solution so she really wants you to um show them that you have you have the confidence that you have the expertise that you have the capability to you know bring her from the point a to the point b so you are you know the bridge you are the bridge between a problem and a solution you are the bridge between a hell and a heaven okay and it's super important that you first yourself tune in into your confidence into your strengths and into your expertise mindset and you know that's another point i want to tell you it's you know we all at some point we all are gonna fail sales call we are we all are gonna screw up we all, we all are gonna you know lose the, lose the prospect and it doesn't matter because uh, you know we are we are learning we are in the process we are you know you know we are learning uh, is, you know doing the thing so my invitation is really don't get scared uh, you know and don't you know be upset with yourself or you know beat yourself if you screw up a sales call it's okay i i have like a 80%, 90% closure of my sales call, but I still fail, you know, at sales call. I, I, you know, I still fail, I still make mistakes, and that's okay. Because it's the only way we are going, you know, to learn and to see, okay, this time I will, you know, make something different, uh, this time I will change this, this part. So don't be hard with yourself, you know, go out there, try, Go on sales calls, you know, and really be there for the person. Detach from the from the um, from the outcome. And then when you you know when you have uh, solved for them the problem conceptually. Sorry, I'm going to take some water. So, if you have any question, please. Uh, let me know in the chat, uh, Radmila, Anna. So I was saying, um, when you have pain for them, you know, where there is a problem and uh, solve for them the problem conceptually, then at this point, you want to paint for them the vision. So how their life, how their business, how their health, how their relationship will going to change uh, after they work with you you know what's their vision what what's they really want to um, to accomplish what what is their you know big uh, goal big vision really let them tune in and take time sorry to tune in into you know their vision their dream their you know the transformation they are going to have you know uh, for example, if you are, you know, a relationship coach, uh, I'm, I, I have all this uh, example of relationship coach because my last client that we had a VIP day on Saturday, she's a relationship coach, love coach. So if you are a love coach, paint for them the vision of how it will be their life when they will find their soulmate. How will it will be, you know, their... Um, their energy how would they feel you know when they will finally find their soulmate how this will impact every aspect of their life you know how this will impact their money situation how this will impact their relationship with other people how this will impact their you know possibility to build a family you know everything you know really help them to tune into the vision and um, the transformation they as i told before people are not interested in the future of the of your program they are interested in the transformation your program is going to offer to them so really you know help them to tune into the vision feel the vision and when they have paid the vision for you 
reflect back again, you know, mirror for them the vision. So, for example, so Elisa, I've listened that, you know, you really want to bring a consistent client uh, and be fully booked uh, and have consistent uh, 5K months, 10K months. And I've heard that, uh, you know, having all this in place will make, uh, as you told me, will make you feel safe and confident uh, and also will, will let you, you know, rent a bigger house, uh, uh, will help you travel more, will help you, you know, uh, invest in yourself and in your transformation, have more freedom, are a team. So really reflect back uh, everything they've told you around, uh, you know, their vision and how they see their life and their business or their relationship from today into three months or six months, you know. Really, um, you, you want to have them feel, feel into it because remember that people buy from feeling and not from the, the, the mind, you know, because the mind we always find a reason why they, you know, they, she hasn't, we haven't to, you know, take off the money and put, you know, five thousand, three thousand, ten thousand dollar to pay a transformation. But the emotion, you know, the feeling, the, you know, um, the transformation is what is going to help your client to see the value and, you know, give you or, you know, invest in you and invest in the transformation. So if you want to attract and work with a high hand, high level client, really, you know, help them to see how your work, how you work together is going to impact uh, all the aspects of their life. Okay? So after, you know, you have paid the vision, maybe, you know, maybe there will be a hell yes, you know, where do I pay? Where do I sign? You know, send me the link. Uh, and that's amazing. And that, you know, it's great. You, are, you have done a great job. But, you know, sometimes uh, they will have also objection. So, um, and it's okay because, uh, you know, I'm a very picky buyer and I have always questions and objection and things. Uh, even if I, you know, invest in myself, only this year I've invested more than $30,000 in coaching and personal development. So, but, I, you know, I want to be 100% sure that I'm doing, uh, you know, the right investment because uh, it's so it's important for me, and that I, you know, my gut, my intuition, I want to feel it also. You know, I want to feel into my heart the excitement, the you know, the the vision, the transformation. So if they have objection, uh, like you know, oh, I would really love to do it, but you know, the money or I have to speak with my husband, I have to speak with my partner, or I don't have time, maybe it's not the right time. Instead, your job at this point, instead of, you know, make them feel guilty or push them or you feeling bad, it's your job as a coach service provider to walk with them through the objection, to help them see that, you know, why they have this objection, what is happening for them, what is, you know, because it's never, believe me, it's it absolutely quite never about the money. You know, if we want uh, something really, really badly, we are going to find the money. We are going to, you know, sell something, ask for, you know, a loan, uh, you know, use a credit card, whatever. But, you know, most of the time, people are scared about the transformation, are scared about, you know, they are actually, if they are paying, now they have to put the work and make the things happen. So it's really never about, you know, timing or money or, you know, there is always something behind, there is always a fear behind. So it's your job as a, as a coach, helping them walk to, with you through this fear, you know, you know, dive deeper and deeper and deeper 
and uh, ask more questions, ask more questions, and help them see where there is behind, you know, this objection, behind this fear. And, you know, if it's okay, you know, if sometimes uh, the person is just uh, honestly is telling you, look, I really trust you, I really believe that this is, you know, a transformational program, a transformational experience, but I want to take, you know, sometimes to tune in into my energy, to tune into my heart, uh, to listen to my intuition and to decide from this place, it's okay, you know, you don't want to hard selling or push hard the, the person because you are going to feel icky, the person is not going to feel good, and most probably she will not be committed, you know, you because you want to work with help, yes, client, you want to work with committed client, so don't push, you know, too much, don't be hard and icky because sometimes you know it's just a matter of really for the person feel into their into the energy and into the heart or maybe really speak with the spouse and uh, find the the money and find the funds so what i love to do is telling the person okay don't worry uh you i i'm you know listening everything you're saying uh, I appreciate you, you know, for sharing with me your truth. I appreciate you for opening so much to me. And um, what we are going to do is that uh, I'm going to send you maybe, you know, an email or, you know, a message, you know, really uh, painting for you what everything we are going to work together. And um, you, you have 24 hours to get back to me and let me know, you know, your decision. And uh, please do not hesitate uh, to send me a message, reach out to me. If you have any more questions, if you have any more doubts, uh, you know, I'm here for you. And, uh, what I, and what I tell to them is, it's my job as a coach, taking a stand for you and knowing that, you know, sometimes when we stay alone at home, you know, and we start uh, our mindset working uh, super fast, you know, we are going to enter into fear. We are going to enter into, oh my God, if I invest all this money and I don't have, you know, the investment back, oh my God, if I fail, oh my God, oh my God, if people will judge me, oh my God, if my husband will judge me because I spent all this money. So, what you know what i really want them to feel is to feel supported is to feel heard it's to feel you know that i'm present and that um, what i also love to do is to give them like a small assignment like a small uh, thing to do in order to keep this connection with the person in order to help the person maybe if she's telling me Oh, it, you know, I really have a lot of fear around money, around investing. Uh, I have a lot of limited. We discovered that she has a lot of, you know, limiting beliefs around money, or maybe that, you know, she's just uh, already invested a lot of money, and that she, now she's afraid of investing again. I give her a little assignment for the day to work on her money mindset or her money beliefs. So I help them, you know, to step up to work on her on her mindset and also i keep like a connection with this person she feels connected to me she feels supported and then i set up you know i tell her i give you 24 hour 48 hour and then why don't we set up another call like tomorrow same times or in two days at the same time and you know we just we go together and we decide if you are and hell yes or no because the first you know it's super important to really work with committed client you don't want to work with a client that say yes yes i mean you know or she's you know from fear and then you know after a month uh, she disappear she doesn't do the work uh, she stop paying you you know when the person is all in when the person is a hell yes she she's the one who say you know i want to pay i want this so badly send me the link i'm going to do it now 
you know, these are the type of clients you want to work these are the, with, these are the type of clients you, you want to, to attract. And, uh, and really, you know, if, you know, the person is not, uh, it's not in, it's okay, you know. There are seven billions of people on the planet there are plenty of clients uh, in um, in the world, and uh, you know you have just. Uh, you, but you will feel good with you, in alignment with you, because you have showed up. You have taken a stand for the person. You have uh, stay in the in your presence, in your power, in your expertise. And maybe this person, it's not an yes today, but she will reach out to you in one week or one month. Uh, and uh, she said, oh, listen, I, I think about it. I mean, I want to work with you. So it's, it's so important that you really, you know, go out there and start uh, doing it, start selling, start uh, being sales conversation and really experiment yourself, you know, your style, your system. I, you know, I've discovered for myself, this process, you know, working with different coaches, but also noticing what I was going naturally, what I was doing naturally, and what wasn't working, what was working. And really, you know, until, until this stage, I still fail at the at sales call, I still fail at uh, sales conversation, but I, I don't, you know, punish myself or judge myself uh, I know that uh, you know I can be I can change something for the next time maybe the you know it's not the, the right fit so it's okay and uh, if you know during all this process you have seen that the person it's not the fit uh, she doesn't ben she will not benefit from your program you will not resonate with the person energetically the best thing you can do really is telling the person and the best thing you can do is you know directing this person to a colleague to another coach to another person and that's super empowering that's super empowering for you for the client and for your future clients because it will show that you know you have uh, the service uh, and the you know the transformation of the person as your priority and that you are not attached, you know, like this uh, uh, to the sales. And uh, f as you know, I work also a lot with, you know, a lot of attraction, spiritual principles. So from an energetical point of view and love of attraction point of view, if you chase, you know, if your energy is desperate and you are like chasing uh, the money, chasing the client, chasing the sales, you will repel this this thing, you know. Think about you know when you are you were dating or you were um, uh, you wanted you know to date a guy or a girl, and the more you were like you know with this uh, needy energy, the more this person will you know go away will you know because people don't feel the energy and people don't want to feel that you need their money that you need them as this as a, as a client you know people don't like to be sold but they like to buy so don't try to sell uh, to the person because you are desperate because you need the money but uh, really show up at your higher energy at your higher vibration being an expert, knowing that the, the transformation you offer is gold, knowing your value, but do, do not show up, you know, with this um, desperation, neediness, uh, uh, because, uh, you know, the person will notice it and she will, you know, go away. The person is buying your energy, is buying also your confidence, your expertise, your your energy you know they want to be in your energy and they want to be in your power so that they can also transform so it's really really important that you do not show up uh, at a sales conversation with this uh, low, like 
oh, I'm so excited to be in this call. No. And neither like, give me the money, give me the money, give me the money, you know? So it's really important to be staying calm, stay in your presence, and being completely unattached from the outcome. Be completely unattached from, you know, the money outcome. And uh, I promise you that energetically, this is so key, this is so important, because um, the person is, is, under, is feeling that, uh, you know, you don't want to art selling to them, but that uh, you want really to be at service, to show up and to transform with them. So I hope, I know that in this training, you know, it's, it's been long and uh, a lot of information, but I, you know, I really feel uh, it's, it was a great, great training. Uh, let me know, you know, if you have any question, uh, if you were, uh, hi, Alexandra. Oh, Anna, sorry, I didn't see your, Litsi, sorry guys, I lost completely your comments. Anna, you told, I want to train myself to be good at sale. I know it needs to feel natural. And then my client is receiving something that is priceless. And so therefore I feel comfortable with it. So I sell coaching program. Great, Anna. So what are you doing right now to train yourself uh, to be good at sales? And how do you show up uh, during your sales conversation? Hey, Litsi, how are you? Beautiful, Tasmin, Agnese, Alexandra. Sorry, guys, I lost completely your comments. Hi, Alex. So, um, Anna, uh, and, and then another thing I didn't touch, but that it's very, very important, is that uh, the thing I always tell to my client, you cannot ask your client to do something you have never done for yourself. That means you cannot ask someone to highly invest in you and in your coaching and in your program if you didn't invest yourself first. You have to lead by example, but also because energetically, you will know what does it mean to pay your coach. You will know what does it mean um, to uh, you know to give uh, ten thousand dollar in full or five thousand dollar or two thousand dollar to your coach uh, and to hey Charlotte beautiful how are you so you will know what does it mean uh, you know to walk yourself through the fear of investing so you cannot ask to a person to give you the money and you will not be able to walk the person through the fear if you have not do done yourself on yourself, you know? And I always say, I, I, I'm able now to charge premium fee, ask people to invest, uh, uh, hi, beauty, how are you? You cannot ask uh, people to invest highly in yourself if you have not done yourself first. Go first, walk your talk, lead by example, and it's super, super, super important. I keep investing myself. I will never stay, you know, without a coach, without a mentor. And, you know, every next level will be scary. You know, every next level you will invest will be scary. When the first time I've invested, you know, $10,000 in full to my coach, I was scared shitless. You know, I was absolutely freaked out but uh, i saw the transformation i saw the change uh, this creates in my life the ripple effect it creates in my life so now i know how it is for my clients so now i know how to walk them uh, through uh, you know the fear of investing i know what it takes i know what it means and I'm not scared myself to ask them for investing, and I'm not scared myself to, you know, invest over and over and over in myself. Anna says, 
I want to get more sales call. How do I invite people who already know that it's a sales call to want to talk about my service? So, Anna, what I what it's what it's important uh, is um, you know sometimes what I, what I see with my clients uh, um, it's that uh, they are not receiving sales call because they don't ask you know are you nurturing your audience are you nurturing your people are you you know showing up daily consistently and then asking for the the sales call. Are you literally, you know, create a post and put the, the link at the end of the post say, hey, I'm offering this sales this discovery call, book it. And are you actually, you know, showing up really uh, consistently uh, showing up on Facebook, on networking event, on Instagram, and uh, asking for the sales, you know, it, there is no, no shame there is no shame in selling i always say so are you actually you know showing up and asking for the sales alexandra question i'm investing in business coach but i am a health coach so do you think my investment needs to be in a health coach since that what i'm selling Alex, no, I don't think uh, that uh, you have to invest in a health coach for people to invest in a health coach. But yes, I think that uh, you did a great job in investing in a business coach because it's what you know you this at this stage you need to grow your business. But I also believe that it's so important that you keep investing as a health coach in your like uh, trainings uh, in your knowledge uh, in you know new things uh, in um, you know and also investing in treating your health uh, properly so are you investing in like having a massage are you you know i don't know what exactly what to sell but are you investing in uh, your um, food are you investing in uh, having an energy session are you investing in yoga so uh, yeah, you know, yes, uh, it's uh, it's uh, what I say. It's important or uh, to walk your talk. So me, as a business mentor and life coach, uh, I always have you know a business mentor and a, a life coach. You know, and sometimes I work with a health coach. Some you know, I always uh, have people helping me in different aspects uh, where I feel I most need. Uh, uh, the transformation but it's not necessary you know since I'm a business coach that I invest in a business coach but yes it's necessary that I keep investing uh, in myself uh, also you know time wise energetically you know and um, I keep myself informed I keep myself trained as a business coach what is happening what's you know social media platform what you know content marketing you know it's important that I keep myself up in the game, that I keep myself informed. I hope, Alex, this reply to your question. If you have uh, any more questions, just ask me. I'm here for you. So I will stay here, you know, one more minute, a couple more minutes if you have any question. And... Um, if you are watching the replay again, uh, uh, comment below, replay, let us know from where you are tuning in. And um, if you have any question, just just let me know. I'm, I'm here for you for reply to your question. If you want, if you would like me to go more in depth, uh, you know, in, in a part of the process, uh, uh, let me know. And um, if, if uh, you have any kind of uh, request uh, for trainings or doubts, just, uh, just let me know, okay? So thank you, thank you very much for everyone who joined. Anna, Radmila, Diane, Lizzy, Tasmin, Agnese, Alex, Charlotte. Thanks, Ale. And uh, we speak very soon. Bye.